So this question is a diagram question. We have the circle drawn here. We have a center of O. We have S and R and P and Q. The question says the circle shown has center O, circumference 144 pi. All right, so let's start with that. So I like diagram questions like this because it allows me to read in between the lines. So whenever I get information about the diagram, I like to stop and just make sense of, you know, is there anything else that I now know that wasn't said directly? So a circumference is simply the length of the entire circle all the way around. So we know that that whole thing is 144 pi. Now, what else do we know? Now, given where these lines are, I also know, right, since O was the center, that from S to Q is half a circle, right? That's half of a circle. That's half our circumference, which means all of this is 72 pi. Just as, you know, just to try to keep clear here, I'll use blue. S to Q this way is also 72 pi, right? Because we want it to add up to 144 pi. Um, let's see if all that is at all valuable. The question goes on to say, and diameters PR and QS, which we knew already because O was the center and diameters connect different sides of the circle through the center. The length of arc PS, okay. So the length of arc PS, let's erase all this, but let's keep it in mind, the 144 pi and the 72 pi's for each half circle. But the length of arc PS, which is here, is twice the length of arc PQ, which is here. So if this were X, that means this would be 2X. What is the length of arc QR? Okay, and I would know that the length of QR is the exact same as the length of PS. So this is also going to be 2X. And RS will be the same as PQ, so this is also going to be X. So given what I... So I can really do this multiple ways. In essence, I've labeled every part of this circle, which means I could just compare it to the entire circumference and say, well, I have an X and a 2X, that's 3X when I add it together, plus X, that's 4X, plus another 2X, that's 6X. I can say, well, I have 6X is equal to the 144 pi. Obviously, I could have also said, well, just looking at half of the circle, I'd have 3X is equal to 72 pi. Neither of these is better. Neither option is better than the other. Um, by the way, so what I have here is I'm going to use this one is I can divide by three and I have X is equal to 24 pi. Now the question wanted to know arc QR, QR is 2X, which means it should be 48 pi. So my answer is 48 pi. So be careful about choosing 24 pi because 24 pi is something that we get in this question. It's just not what the question is actually asking for. And hopefully that makes sense, right? So this is 24 pi. This is also 24 pi. But these here are 48 pi's. And if you do the math, you'll see that all of them add up to 144, as the question told us they would.